Hello everybody, welcome into Bioprototype 2. We're going to take a look at this today. Uh, well, they start you off right in the action. This promises to be a, a okay, promises to be a, a really interesting bullet heaven survival sort of experience where you are biologically evolving yourself in order to overcome the challenges and trials. Transplant organs, I don't know, we'll find out, we'll see. Welcome back, my friend. You don't have to look for me. I'm talking to you via a microchip inside your brain. Please don't blame me. This situation is not what I expected. Anyway, how do you feel about the new body? What an icebreaker. So, um, how do you feel about your body? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you don't have vocal cords anymore. Here's a reactor. Please put it in the operating table. It'll make you strong as a payback. Okay. I get the feeling that line was less simile and more, uh, more literal. Now enter the device. I promise it won't hurt at all. I don't believe you. Amazing! Your body has a special structure. Implant organs from other creatures inside this body may unleash your potential. Today is your lucky day. I have some spare organs for you. Why not implant the beautiful spine and the limb? So there's a beautiful spine and limb. Okay? Sure. Spine of the lizard. No, I was told this was a beautiful spine. Uh, activation cycle, two second per activation. Activate the right side organ periodically. Mutation. Uh, interesting. So, like, you can't just attach a limb. You have to attach something. So, so that you, like, you really are kind of seeming to form this sort of skeletal muscular structure and you have to be concerned about that instead of just like dragging equipment onto a paper doll or something for example that's really interesting um let's let's talk ui for a second um this central space is good the really bright green lights shows that's that's good called a signifier so that's saying hey this is uh you know directing your attention to the right place saying there's something you can do here uh we've got our inventory off to the left uh, which appears to be tabs. We'll explore that in a minute and maybe currency up here. And then we have the info of what you have selected. Now, this is an interesting choice to put this over here on the right. I don't know that I would say necessarily that's the right or the wrong choice. I just think it's interesting because now there's this huge separation between here and here, but it also allows the focus to be right in the center. So I'm curious to see how this feels as we keep on growing this creature out. How does this experience mold over time? And then we can hide it with a Z. Good, uh, good little uh, uh, tooltip there. All right, what is this? What is this tab? I don't know yet. And then we also have tentacle of the sloth and limb of the zombie. Launch a short range swipe when activated, or fire projectiles when activated. Okay, well, we'll do what these told us to do. Perfect. The spine will periodically trigger the limb and deal damage. Now try to replace the limb with a tentacle. All right, like you do. Well done. I know you want more organs. <laughs> Enter the elevator. It leads you to find some fresh organs. So this is interesting because I'm kind of curious where they're going to go with the theme of this. Uh, they're working really hard to turn something very macabre into something kind of adorable and cute. Yeah, you have this overly gorgeously adorable face. Um, saying, you know, really nice things to you, but you're also literally inside a body and genetically modifying yourself and ripping things off of other creatures and injecting them into yourself. That's pretty, pretty brutal. Um, let's check this out. Okay, do we have a dash? I don't think so. Let's go into our elevator. Good luck. I will take care of you when you get back. Sure. Okay, so this is a to start. Uh, good signifier to say, hey, bad guys are coming in. Uh, good juice on the shots. Um, with the uh, the particle, uh, the, the ball sprite kind of exploding out, and then the big uh, red wave burst. Um, pretty simple pickup animation, just a fade, but the sound effect really sells it. Hey, I remember you from the... Oh, we got, like, raid-style attack telegraphing. Okay. Cool. Nice. I like that he stops moving so you actually have a chance to get out of there. I was wondering about that. Okay. Uh, great. Victory! 
So one interesting thing here is we, we, we beat the level, right? So we get this cool victory screen. That's nice. Nice little particle effects getting thrown up. The lights crisscrossing. Double lighting there, right? So we've got this light source. We've got these light sources. And then maybe... I can't tell. It's got to think maybe there was one really um, low level light in the back room. I don't think so. It's just the haze from this one. Um, Nice shimmer on the text. The uh, bouncing of everything. Nice little shader there, I'm guessing. Uh, very, very nice. But I want to know what I picked up. What was that part that I picked up? There was this big treasure chest that I opened, gave me a part, and then I skipped straight to the victory screen. Give me my dopamine of, like, what did I just accomplish? I mean, we we are, in this sense. But what did I get out of it, right? This is putting the focus on the score attack, but then the game is focusing on improving yourself with organs, right? So it's like, it's this battle between accomplishment and empowerment. And it feels like they're kind of in conflict with each other. Just a little bit. Here we go. This is what I wanted. I wanted this like on the last screen. Why can't we combine these a little, you know? Maybe that's something we'll check out uh, during our analysis section. So we got cells. Oh, I thought these were eyeballs. <laughs> thought we went like into Elden Ring or something. Uh, nerve of the Wolf. A uh, chance to activate the right side organ when the left side organ hits an enemy. Interesting. Okay. I like that. Because already, that is starting to create interesting connections in my head, right? Emergent gameplay is starting to happen. That's really good. Congratulations, you just got a pretty limb. Try to implant these two limbs into your body. I'll show you something fun. Alright, let's do it. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think I'm going to do what he wants me to do, though. Oh, Vessel. What's Vessel? Are these slots? Can I, like, put gems in, in these or something? So we're going to do Limb of the Zombie, and then we're going to do Nerve of the Wolf, and then we're going to do Tentacle. Wait, can I do all of them? Oh! Did you notice that the damage stat of the limb got changed? No, because you cut into the tutorial immediately. Let me explain the concept of efficiency. The efficiency of a trigger organ affects the damage of a functional organ. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Nerves and spines are trigger organs, but they have different efficiency. Due to different efficiency stats on the left side organs, the two limbs may deal different damage. Yeah, okay. Efficiency may affect other attributes of an organ. It will reveal this secret one day. Time to work. Let's stop here for now. By the way, if you find more... Uh, typo reactors, please bring them to me. Okay, so we've got um, efficiency 100% and then efficiency 150%. So this is only damage 15, this one's damage 22. It would be nice to have some sort of. Um... Also, it seems like we have a limit of how many things we have planted. I'm liking the tree thing. Okay, just, gosh, there's just so much to talk about here. I really like um, this efficiency thing. That is a neat little wrinkle into the puzzle of not just order of operations now, which a lot of these kind of build your own um, build your own character, build your own spell type sort of things, right? Um, rely on. It's, it's a lot of order of operations uh, in terms of like when this happens, trigger this, then trigger this, then trigger this, then how do those affect each other? But now not only do we have that wrinkle, we also have like efficiency. So it's like, okay, I've got my really heavy hitting thing. Um that does a billion damage, getting that on an efficiency 150% is going to be a lot more important than getting something low damage, right? Because now, the percentage increase of that damage number is going to be way bigger, way, 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 way bigger than, uh, than, uh, than if it were some dinky two damage thing. Like, going up by one damage isn't going to be that big a deal, right? Okay, this is this is interesting. I'm liking the puzzle. I'm I'm really appreciating this puzzle. Can't wait to understand it more. I like the visual um, impact that we have here. Cute little character, nice little squish and squash going on there. Um, curious how many of these you, you end up getting. Are we gonna get uh, a little uh, biblically angel appropriate? You know, with uh, a bunch of different things. Oh, okay. So here's our map. Lab zone one. Oh, we get different loot. Per zone. I like that. That's cool. Um, that's neat telling me which rewards we're going to get. I don't remember very many roguelikes doing that because Slay the Spire talks about enemies and then randomizes the reward. I haven't seen many people saying, here are the rewards and then randomizing the enemies. Um, kind of curious about that. Let's see how that goes.
Okay, so we have these two different rooms. I have no idea what they are. I don't know if this is an organ or if it's health. And then this is what? A relic? Maybe? Let's check it out. On the off chance that that was health. Uh, oh, and then one other thing. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, that was tab. I just pressed right there. Um, one other thing I really wanted to say on the on the organ screen, I want to see the numbers, like how much damage is each uh, limb going to be doing. Um, I want a visualization of that. And I want a visualization of the efficiency of everything connecting to each other to help me uh, visually plan that out. Maybe that's another thing we can explore during our analysis. Okay. Cool, yes, that feels great. That feels really good. So we swing, and then that spawns a, te a tentacle to smash into everything else, and a bunch of uh, the, the, what are they, I bought, I don't know, the energy balls, the blast. Yeah, this is a huge increase in strength. Massive increase in strength. I don't know that we've found anything to use our cells on yet, either. Okay, we got this friendo. Get wrecked. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really bad at avoiding damage in these games. I play a lot of games like this, but I kind of suck at avoiding damage. It's a skill I'm, I'm still working on. Okay, so... Oh, we don't have to walk over any of it. No, we do have to walk over it all. Okay. So this is a big reward. Jeez. We got what? Why did we hold that one up and pause my movement? Yeah, and we're just really focusing on this time metric. There's no, like, damage taken metric, nothing. This is, like, really hard. Like, the game is telling you speedrunning is the name of this game because this is the thing they tell you good job about when you finish a level. Nothing else, right? And then we have loot, which is, like, okay, kind of cool. Uh, which, honestly, I would have swapped the other way around. It's really interesting to me. I'd, I'd be curious to hear what were the the decisions behind closed doors that kind of resulted in this flow. A high-tech core that upgrades devices in the secret base. Okay. A resource to get access to the boss fight of the lab. Okay, we got the, got the boss key. Another limb of the zombie, tentacle of the sloth. Limb of the witch. Launch a nova when activated. Okay. Cool. I'm really curious about mutation. You surprised me. I never expected you could be back with a reactor. Now we can get access to stuff. Great. Let's uh, let's keep going. So what's this? Ooh, we zerged it up. <laughs> There's a shooting range under the ground. If you'd like to test your build, go there. Cool. I like that. I like that. You don't need to worry about breaking the dummies. I'll fix them. Right on. Okay. So let's... Now I see why there's stairs over here and up here, so you don't have to walk all the way around and all the way back, right? That's just a good little convenience. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm curious about this other tab. Curious about these curious about these cells. Let's uh let's get rid of our uh tentacle of the sloth there. And what if we just go full like PBAOE, right? Can I upgrade things at all? No. Oh, and this can only hook into the right the the right side can only be a nerve or an intestine interesting so like we couldn't put another spine on the other side of this oh man interesting look at all these different things that are here also these are this is a little weird uh, let me get out of the way you can see that i like can hover on these and click on them right so they seem to be buttons i don't know if it's that they shouldn't be buttons or maybe we just haven't unlocked what those buttons can be yet let's keep going okay are these the dummies Okay, so we're going to create the Nova around what we hit. I have different thoughts now. So if that's going to be the case, I think what we want actually is replace the, the, uh, the limb of the zombie with the tentacle of the sloth. So we shoot the, um, shoot the tentacle of the sloth, which then blasts out into a nova around them, right? Ooh, odds are so low on this. Hmm. Hmm. 
Damage 15, 15, 15, 15. These are all kind of the same. What are the odds? Your activate chance of 56%. Okay. Um, and then how much damage are, are the limbs of the witches? 10. I'm, I'm curious about the limbs of the zombie, right? Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? What is this thing? Can I put something on there? No. Incompatible organ. Has to be a nerve or an intestine. Okay. Well, I'm really curious about that. So if we shoot, yeah. So now we're doing a, a an art. So it's not a full 360. So that's the difference. Okay. Um. Man, see, like even with just this very limited amount of options, my brain is worrying about like how do I, hmm, how do I build this in an interesting way. Um, oh man, and how do I optimize on this? I can see myself getting lost in this space here. For the sake of the video, let's keep going, but like, that's a really good puzzle. We should, we should try and break that down a little bit. Okay, we can go back to lab zone one? Really? Okay. All right, let's try lab zone two though. And then we got a chest. Uh, uh, let's let's check out what the what the organ room is. I'm I'm kind of curious about this because we definitely got organs from the last space. Ooh, biggins. Come on, get the blast. Oh, geez, okay. Whoa, did you see how much damage that was? Oh, that's great. That that feels so good. <laughs> Seeing all that. Wow. Get obliterated. Okay. Oh. Um. We don't have a use for the cells yet. So I guess we'll just go over here? So what? Now do we have to go through, like, five rooms? Did I see that tracker on top? Is that what that was? Okay, we'll try and get everything lined up. Nice! Ah, uh, feels so good. Shoot, 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 shoot! Yes! Oh, it bounces off walls, too! Oh, that's interesting. Oh my gosh, that's really strong. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. And it's incredibly clever. Okay, so like, oh man, we gotta do a Noctalysis Frame. There's just so much to dive into in here. I really like it. Um, yeah, like an Octalysis Framework analysis of this, ownership is really high because like my build is super uniquely my build, right? Um, the amount of possible configurations with even just three different like node options is pretty darn big. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Uh, so when that does a really good job, my feeling of accomplishment skyrockets through the roof when I get to go out into the world and be like, oh, look at all this. Belly of the crocodile. Deal damage over time to the target when activated. Okay. Interesting. So this is, this is uh, more dots. More dots, more dots. Poison. Rebuild factors. Reroll all modifiers. Add a modifier, remove a random modifier. Interesting. So that's what we got out of our um, organ room, as I've been calling it. Um, these. So it's like, maybe it's not getting more organs, but it's like modifying the organs that you have through these uh, tinctures. Okay. Great. Sounds really cool. I'm really liking it. Oh, I just noticed the cells you've... Yeah, they're okay. Now we're good in there. Let's put them to good use. Take the reactor here. All right. Let's go. I'm really liking this. It's a really cool uh, design. This is great. Bang, welcome to our printing room. Let me introduce you to this brand new 3D printer. This device crafts organs for you. If you don't like the organs on the shelf, okay, so it's our store. Okay, got it. The cost will be increased each time you refresh. After you complete an adventure, sure, cost will reset. Printer can up be upgraded as well, so we can upgrade the store. Good, I, I really like upgrading the store mechanics. As weird as that is, because a lot of times in games, I really hate, like, banks, right? That give interest, because that is, like, such a encourage me not to interact with your game sort of system. For some reason, I really like upgrading stores, though. I guess it's because I feel like I'm getting better and better rewards instead of um, just saving up so I can buy the thing that I already knew about. I guess it's a randomness thing, right? Like, ooh, I want to see what comes next after this. That's probably the psychological trick there. Um, okay. Hope you have a great shopping experience. Lovely. 
Yeah, it literally just says shopping. Okay. Uh, cool. We can get another nerve. That's pretty big. Limb of the giant. Uh, interesting. We have a, a a repair option. This printer is broken. Use it to fix it. And then we got all these other things. My goodness. So it's a whole other resource. Limb of the giant. Launch a rectangular strike when activated. Interesting. Okay. We're for sure... Oh, no, we don't have any... Okay, so it's not cells. You don't use cells to upgrade the printer. It's a different currency. So I actually like that, too, because that is kind of... You know, we'll have to see how it shapes up over time, but it feels like this is trying to address the concern that I tend to have of... Um, if I buy the printer upgrades, then I don't get to buy things at the store. And uh, that's a bummer, right? But now they're saying, no, there's two different currencies. So this is your fun points. These are your future fun points. And I like that. Let's reload. Ooh, Nerve of the Clown. Okay. 250% uh, efficiency? Yes. Uh, why is this one 600? Because it has four mutations on it, maybe? Uh, well, I mean, let's get both of these, yeah? We got that. Okay. It was kind of an awkward animation. Um, yeah, I felt like there were supposed to be some transition effects there that aren't quite built in yet, which is understandable. This is a, this is a prologue. It's a demo. So, makes sense. Okay. Can I drag you there? Yes! And then we have insufficient brain capacity. Okay. Okay. So, so these circles here... Vessels, this is everywhere that it can branch off to. Interesting. So how do we upgrade our brain capacity is now, like, my chief concern. How do we get more brain capacity? Um, so let's hook, and then hook. Oh, it costs, this one costs two. Oh, interesting. So they could have variable costs. But all of them seem to at least cost one. Okay. Okay. All right. I see I see where you're going with this game. It's very cute. Very clever. Um, let's do... Let's go with a, a, our a poison. Oh, we changed colors. Oh, that's cute. So how is this going to start affecting things? So we get the dot on there. Uh, I don't know. That dot isn't really wowing me. If it would, like, explode in a radius to cause a dot, then I think I'd be down. But I think I like our blast better. So let's throw that back on. We'll just go back to the old build that we had. I, it's at this point I'm also really wanting build presets, right? So I can tinker around with things, but then restore back to an earlier version that you're like, ah, oh, you know what? It didn't quite work out. Let's go back to what it was. Uh, lab Zone 3. I'm still curious about going back to old Lab Zones, but let's let's just check out Lab Zone 3. Ooh, okay. There's our uh, shop upgrade currency. Go in there 100% of the time. <laughs> We have two portals now. Three! Are we going to have to do all three? Okay, we have to charge them up. Okay, okay. So we're getting this kind of like King of the Hill style sort of experience. Okay, so that one's safe. Now we can move on. Okay, all right. Interesting. Interesting. They man, they're spawning these guys in right next to you on this. Um, so that's really heavily incentivizing a melee build, right? Which is interesting because in in these survivor games, usually a ranged build is kind of what you want to go for, unless you have a really strong build. Otherwise, um, because it's safer, you take less damage. So this is forcing you into a spot where. They're kind of saying, "Hey, have you have you considered short range yet? <laughs> have you have you built for this?" I think that's kind of interesting. Oh, man, it does feel like they could maybe space it out a little bit more, but overall, I liked it. And then we've got this nice little UI up here saying, "Hey, you're you know this close until the end." It's nice. Um, should we do more? I guess let's do more. 
more. Different layout of them. Okay. I will say, when I'm doing one of them, I kind of want the others to deactivate it. Like, is anyone going to go, like, can we do multiple at the same time? Is this going to start? Yeah, they are. They're going to start uh, uncharging. So, I don't know when I'd ever try and, like, hot plate, you know, or spin the plates of multiple at a time. Maybe that's something that we'll see later on in the game. I, I don't know. There we go. Definitely need to up our fire rate. That's, that's being a big bottleneck for us right now. Good. That was a good hit. Good hit. Yes, the cascading out. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. Take care of these guys before spawning new ones in. There we go. This is feeling kind of slow to me. Uh, there's something about this that just isn't being compelling to me. I like the idea of adding in some like level design, right? That's something that is a, a big problem in Bullet Heavens in general. Is there's not a lot of reasons to interact with the map outside of like finding you know health potions and stuff, just breaking random pots. Um, ooh, a three vessel spine, which is a sentence I did not expect to say today. Working with you to reactivate these devices reminds me of the days when we were building this base. Maybe I should also figure out a way to make a new body. Forgive me, I'm so emotional today. Let's upgrade the operating table. All right, let's do it. I'll grant the operating table more interesting functions. Done. Now it allows you to recycle organs you don't like, turning them into cells. Okay, makes sense. Select an organ you don't need and press delete to recycle it. You can also spend cells to craft extra brains as well as expand your brain capacity. Interesting. So not only will be increasing the brain capacity, we'll also be getting new ones. So I'm assuming it will be a juggling thing of like, you know, you'll get to a point where upgrading your brain is not as cost effective as just buying a new brain and then kind of cycles in, almost taking a sort of um, clicker type sorts of progression. By the way, different brains work simultaneously. Come on, bro, praise me. Give me a hundred more reactors. I can craft a spaceship for you. Yes, I'm joking. It's urgent to repair this base first, okay? So we have the brain capacity we can upgrade. Wow, those are expensive. Jeez. But we also have all these limbs we don't want. So we can press E, a nice little keyboard shortcut. Thank you for showing me the keyboard shortcut instead of having me have to like go into a setting and discover it. Uh, right on. Okay, so we now have 500. We can upgrade our brain capacity from six to seven. We only get one more. Harsh. Okay, so let's kind of reset this. Let's go into here. And then we have this whole branch up here. My gosh. Huh. Yeah, I'm seeing that this can start to get really wacky, right? You start getting these branches with branches and branches and thinking, oh man, I really like this puzzle. I really like it. <laughs> this is a really good puzzle. Okay, so we now have Yeti Arm. It's a bummer that it seems like you only get two things on your character at a time. Oh. Interesting. That Yeti Arm is launching quick and hitting fast. Um, yeah. Effective radius is a six. What's your attack rate, dude? We got a 31% increased radius, 10% to crit chance, and additional vessels? I'm a little confused on how to read this because it looks like it's maybe wrapping the, the text, but I can't quite make it out. Um, okay. Let me drag this down here. Oh, I wish it would drag the whole thing down with it. Uh, okay. So we're doing a nerve, and then we can move to, uh, I mean, we can throw the dot on now, because now, now this makes sense. Now we can hit a bunch of things at once and apply the dot. Um, we can even do that. 
And then what can you attach into? Nerve, spine, retina, lung, or intestine? Um, oh, and this is seven projectiles? What? <laughs> Let's sell the one and the three Gs. Uh, okay. And then at the same time, we can... Uh, I mean, I guess we just might as well throw down a limb to zombie, right? And just fill out our points. Because we can't really attach anything else into there. I really want to see this. How is this going to work? Whoa. <laughs> so if I hit, like, multiples... Can I try and hit... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's like, it's like making a chain lightning sort of thing now. This is very, very cool. I... <laughs> I really like it. I, I know I'm saying that a lot, but I really like the puzzle. Uh, yeah. Increase the rarity. And then we'll get our free refa refresh. Oh, bladder of the boxer. Ah. Gain one charge when hitting a target. When reaching maximum charges, consume all charges to activate the right side. Okay. So instead of being chance-based like the nerve is, the bladder seems to be built up over time. And uh, so it'll be more reliable. 686% efficiency. Jeez. But you have to get 600 charges. So you would not want to hook this into... Um, like the Yeti arm, right? If that's how it works. Does it hook into one thing or is it a global passive? I'm... I'm, I'm Curious how that'll go. We want to save up for that. That seems super rad. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's right. We have our modifier things, too, which we haven't really unlocked. I guess we'll just go over here because I don't know what to do with the um, mutation stuff yet. Ah, more curious. Yeah, I don't like this one. Um, I like the idea of it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> but I think it's just... Things are spawning in so close. I don't have a way to avoid the damage, and it feels like I don't get an opportunity to really do anything. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's this little dance, uh, oh geez, around the outskirts of the platform. Yeah, something about it isn't landing for me, and I can't articulate it very well. Maybe if there were just one and it was bigger, so it'd give you a little more room to maneuver. I don't know. Oh, is that a magnet? Okay. Interesting. Grab all these. I also wish these would just get picked up when they make contact with their character instead of needing to wait until they hit the ground. Running around and picking stuff up. Sorry, guys. It's just not fun. You know, especially if I'm, like, right in front of the chest. Just, like, if it makes contact with my character, just pick, just pick it up, please. And I'm really excited to see one of these rooms again. So this is a, a time survival. Okay. Yeah, I... Why don't I like the area ones? The King of the Hill. I think it just feels... Like, it overstays its welcome, maybe, you know? Like, if we had to survive for, like, ten minutes here, then I think this would overstay its welcome, too. But at least here I can, like, maneuver around a little bit. I think it's a combo, right? Where it just lasts too long, and uh, I feel too restricted in what I'm able to do. Woo! 14 more seconds, uh, and this is only, like, room two, right? Oh, shoot, we're probably going to lose this one. So we've got another two rooms after this, and I have yet to find a healing item in this game. Maybe they'll give me a campfire uh, in between here, but... That's good. I like that. I like the just auto pickup of everything. That's good. Why don't you do that here? Have it all sit on the ground for, like, half a second, and then rush in, right? Do the same thing. Don't make me, you know, run around. Oh! There was only two rooms. Okay. What is this? Horn of the Unicorn. 
Strike enemies with lightning. Whoa. Okay. Cool. That's a lot of Nova solvents. Okay. Another reactor. I'd love to see that. You did an excellent job. Our next mission is to add some modifiers to your organs. Here we go. Now let's put this reactor into the operating table to activate the device. Okay. Great. You can see a mutate button when you select a mutatable organ. Press the button to enter the mutation menu. In this menu, you can check all potions you collected during the adventures. Use a potion to mutate an organ. This may empower the organ with some special effects. Just as a tip, if you're going to have the tutorial text, don't have it be like debug stuff. <laughs> but be careful about the durability of the organ. Oh, interesting. Organ's durability reduces by one each time. So it seemed like durability because it was 999, but maybe, maybe it's not. When the durability reaches zero, the organ can no longer mutate. Enjoy your new... So it doesn't dissolve, it's just, like, it gets locked in. And that seems fair. Okay. Um, great. Frumptious. Mutation disabled. So we'll sell you. And let's see. Can we mutate this guy? Because this guy's doing a lot of work for us. Um, we can add modifiers, because we have fill all empty modifier slots with tier 1 modifiers, add a tier 1 modifier, add a modifier. Tier 1 sounds bad. Is tier 1 better? Is it like 5 is the lowest and then 1 is the highest? That's a little confusing to me, but maybe that is the case. Mutate. Insufficient durability. Ah, durability 0. Lame. <laughs> Where's the durability? I thought it was going to be up here. It's all the way down here. Okay. Zero, zero, zero. Everything has zero. Well, that's lame. All right, we can do a 30 on that one, a 20 on that one. Uh, let's let's do this. Okay, we have some dur durability on this guy. Let's mutate. Cute little animation. Uh, an extra 12% frequency. Okay. And this is like getting into Diablo-style loot, which is really cool. Really, really rad. Uh, you know, getting your modifiers, maxing them out, all that sort of stuff. Um, while there's only one organ on the right side. I don't know what T6 means. Um, let's go again. 7% chance to repeat an additional time. Interesting. Plus three to additional vessels? Each empty vessel grants 25 efficiency? What? Okay. Okay. Um. Wow. That sounds bonkers. So we take that off. And now this thing has, let's see, is it live updating here? 225%? 200%. Yeah, okay. So this is getting... 225% extra damage. This is damage 34 if I lower the efficiency. Okay, so that is the live updated numbers. That's good. I like that. So I, I wish there was a bit of a breakdown of like 16 times 225%, right? Um, okay. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, still don't know what this tab is. Should we do the unicorn horn? Because I didn't notice the the um, poison really doing a whole lot for us. Not going to lie. Nerve of the wolf. Okay. And I like that they're highlighting. So if I click on different things, it shows me which of these slots are open uh, that this can fit into. And that's very nice. That's very nice. Um... So we can just throw this here. I mean, it's not going to really do anything for us. We can't we can't put anything in it yet. But that is really interesting. Hey, look at my little party hat unicorn. Party hat unicorn is my new band name. Oh, it swapped it out. Interesting. There we go. And there's the lightning coming down. Okay, so that's going to give us a little more single target damage. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's not really worth it. Um, kind of want to put our explosion back on her because that was just so strong. Incompatible organ. Okay, I must have clicked on the wrong one. Okay. 
Uh, shop? Do we have anything? Oh, yeah, we can get the bladder! Let's, let's upgrade this broken printer first. We get another nerve of the wolf. Let's, let's get the bladder of the boxer. Because we do have, like, an extra slot. I'm curious how this fits in. We got the bladder of the boxer. Where can I put you? Can I put you at the end here? No. Incompatible organ. The only place that I can put this is right there. Interesting. So we need something else that can hook into a bladder. There's nothing we have that will hook into it right now except for the base, which seems like a bad call <laughs> to try and make that work. Because uh, it will wait until we finish the charges in order to do the thing. But we can't do the thing until we activate the charges. So that's bad. Um, this is probably where the dots would have been good <laughs> on this big boss. How those are so fast. Sheesh. Ah, we're going into, okay. We're probably going to lose here. This is a, jeez, meany, big, mean, mean boss. I wonder if they're going to give us ways to, like, affect our, um, speed at all. Because those, those little crab dudes are dastardly. Uh, can I, like, no? I was wondering if I could, you know, loop them around and, and trick out their AI or something. Yeesh, okay. We're in phase two now. Everything's fine. We have nine more hit points than we need. Everything is fine. Oh, dear. Okay, more, more Mr. Krabbies. Okay. So I think, oh, jeez. <laughs> we got pretty far there. That was pretty good. And then we revive. Are we going to start the run all the way back over? Looks like not. So this is a pretty soft roguelite then. Um, that's really interesting. That's really, really interesting. Uh, can we just try again? Yeah. Looks like it. Okay. Well, we got to beat the boss, right? Let's beat the boss. Um, let's, instead of the unicorn, instead of the, the AoE... Because it seems like that is not really going to be all that necessary. Let's head back. Let's try it with the poison. See if that's going to do the trick. Um, and then if it won't, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll grind up a little bit uh, to get some cells and upgrade some of our stuff a little bit. But I got a good feeling about this. We we kind of know what's coming. Are bullets doing anything? That poison seems so weak. It's three damage over, like, what, six ticks? Like, that's not a lot of poison when our giant gorilla fist is doing 51 damage. I can't tell if those bullets are actually hurting it. Yeah, I can't tell. Probably not. They're probably not hitting it, are they? Makes me wonder if, like, the limb of the zombie or something might uh, give us some more success there. There we go. Okay, we're in phase two. We're doing way better this time than we did last time. And I think that's more about just, like, knowing how the fight works than it is about the build necessarily being all that much better. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out. Good, 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 good. Nice. Ah! 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 Jeez. Oh, God, out. Oh. We are so close here. Don't, don't stand in the red. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, dear. Phase three? Is he getting all shredded now? What's going on there? Okay. Oh, we're going to take some hits here. We're okay. We did it. We did it, Reddit. Okay. Oh, boy. That was a lot of loot. Woo! That was a tough boss fight. Uh, I got some lungs. That's exciting. Um, whatever that is, and more of that stuff, uh, sure. <laughs> what? what was the wolf head thing? What is this? Small gene of the leopard? 9% increased movement speed. There you go. There. You go. That's what I was wondering. It's like, are we going to be able to 
kind of moderate, uh, improve our core attributes. Limb of the Giant also strikes the opposite direction? Well, that's tailor-made for this build. Limb of the Zombie also strikes the opposite direction. Wow, that those are cool. I'm excited about that. Tongue of the Earth Shaker. Okay, this is from this enemy. Unlimited Pierce, fire a pulse when activated. Okay, interesting. And then Lung of the Monarch. Transform the buff or debuff effect of the right side organ into a surrounding aura. So are there like summon builds in this? What is this? This is super freaking cool. Wow, this reactor is beautiful. I'll put it to good use. It's time to upgrade the culture dish. It helps you modify your genes. Okay. Let's see what this is and then we'll probably dive into our analysis section. Now you can use genes. Genes are required to be socketed in DNA to take effect, giving you some special power. The more powerful the gene, the more DNA slots are needed. Right, okay. Um, I really like this. You may recycle some genes if you don't need them, breaking them into gene fragments. The gene device can generate new genes by consuming these fragments. That's all for today. Cool. Uh, do we have 20 to play with? So we can just throw all of them in? Gene craft? Uh, implant. 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 Wow, we get a full 20, so we can have all of these. Okay, well, I know how we're changing this build up. Yup. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, and we can buy a new brain! Which gets us, um... <gasps> it doesn't sum them. It is its own thing. Wow. Okay. I'm glad we're checking this out. Okay. Uh, woo. Um, I mean, I'm curious. What happens if we put the bladder of the boxer there? Uh, to activate the right side organ. Huh. Then spine. Whoa! Look at all this. What? So, so what is insufficient frequency? Insufficient frequency? What? Because this like hits slowly, or is it because this thing isn't gonna work? <laughs> ah. Um, I'd love a uh, oh control click to group edit. Ah, there we go. There's my drag the whole thing out. Okay. So stash and then group stash. Okay, so we can do this now. Okay. Okay. So this is now, so that's what this is. This is a, a cluster of things. That's really interesting. See, this is getting really complex. You can tell that they know that it's getting really complex because you can store these like pre-built strings of things. Oh man, really interesting. Okay. Um, so let's throw our spine of the lizard, and then we'll, can we just do, like, triple this? <laughs> and then, yeah, nothing is hooking in to the bladder. Um, buff or debuff effect. We don't really have any buff or debuff effects right now. Um, so we can go back here. Let's take the nerve out of that brain and throw the nerve over to here. So we can at least put one more thing in. Um, we'll just do full auras, right? Like, that's kind of what this is. Let's check this out. Boom. Okay. All right. Cool. It's like, it's like, it's kind of like Mega Man. So we're stealing his ability. That's very, very, very rad. Very rad. I'm a billion percent a fan of this. Okay. Let's jump into our analysis section now. You know what? I think we're actually uh, getting pretty long here. I think we've already talked about a lot of the interesting things about the game. We've talked a lot about kind of game design and how this emergent gameplay is functioning and how they have, you, we could talk about, you know, they've got really good progressive disclosure here where you um, have your single nodes and then groups of nodes. That's pretty clever. I wish I could click and drag, like right click, click and drag maybe. This control click is a little awkward word but um i guess it works 
Um, another way they've worked in progressive disclosure is with the different brain system, right? They could have com collapsed all of this into one. Instead of saying, here's a new brain with six nodes, they could say, you just add six to this, which is what I thought it was going to be. And then it starts to get to be this really long, ungainly, um, gangly sort of experience. Um, so splitting it up here allows this space to be manageable. Um, not only in terms of UI, but also in terms of how people are kind of perceiving things. Um, if, the, if you have to track a chain reaction along that many nodes, like 13 long, it's not going to happen. You know, you're just, you're going to get lost. Um, this is really cool. I think there's a lot of really solid design work. I'm still not sold on this placement here of the info card. Um... I kind of almost wanted to like get condensed into here so that I can see more of the chain of that I'm building. It's not like the worst thing ever though. Like I think it works. They've got good uh, signifiers like, hey, this is the selected one with the color swap and also moving it down. Um, same thing with their tabs. Very good design work there. Um, I do wish this mutate wasn't really enabled for things that like had mutation disabled right like i can just i can click all the way in and to do to do this when it just says mutation disabled just don't let me click it you know um but that's bio prototype 2 this is uh really good it's really good i really like it um you can find the link in the description down below and that's gonna do it for me today thank you so much for hanging out with us this has been an absolute pleasure uh, Fox Hollow Games is a charitable enterprise that helps people enter the game industry. So if you like this idea of analysis and uh, game developer related humor, uh, we do have weekday streams every every day from at least 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern. A lot of times a lot longer than that. Uh, where I am building a roguelike myself and doing various other projects. We do game analysis on the stream. There's a great community of folks. I invite you to like, follow, subscribe uh, on whatever platform you happen to be watching this on. <laughs> and with that... We will catch you next time.